This is Hooked Up. Pull back. No, don't reel, don't reel yet. Pull back. Now reel down. Pull it up. Reel it down. Yeah, there you go. There we go. There's like four fish back there. Oh my god! Oh, did you see the swell when that thing ate? <laughs> He's a monster, <laughs> monster bluefish. It's a good workout, huh? Yes. <laughs> this is exhausting. So, uh, what do you think? I cannot believe the size of those fish. They're big fish. Bluefish get a bad rap. Nobody, want, nobody wants to eat them. Would you ever cook a bluefish? Yeah, I, 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 every summer. But usually what I do is I wrap them in foil, salt, pepper, wrap them in foil, and put it on the grill. They're really good smoke, too, because there's so much oil in them. But you see how crazy it gets. It's, it's very active. Very active. You see how it's a sport. You're running around, you're chasing, you're going where the action is. It, it's exciting. It is exciting. It is. General Hospital or Days of Our Lives. I'm going to go with GH. I'm, I was really an all-my-children guy in the day, but I find NBC soap really cartoony as opposed to the realism in ABC soaps. ABC soaps seemed kind of urban and more crisp to me. NBC soaps look like they were on old VHS tapes. People ask me about pitch meetings and what it's like when people come pitch shows, and. They take various forms, but once Sybil Shepherd was pitching a show where she and her best friend was like a reality absolutely fabulous, basically. And so, to, I think in order to show me how crazy she was, she kept talking about how hot it was in the room, and she wound up saying, let's take our shirts off. It's so hot in here. She took her shirt off, and I took my shirt off, and she has like a black bra on. She was really flirty with me, and she was like, oh, I love Jewish guys, and... Da, 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 da. I'm like, do you not realize how gay I am? Like, what are you not seeing in this situation? She was Sybil Shepherd. She probably thought she could turn you. you know? Exactly. She turned me further right. gay. But anyway. I guess the big question is, because she took her pants off. No, she didn't take she her, didn't pants, take her off. pants off. She, she then said, to. let's take our pants off. And I was freeballing that right, day. Right, right. And I said, no, I can't do it. So yeah. the question, if you weren't freeballing, would you have done it? Probably. Probably? Yeah. And I never freeballed during a pitch yeah, again. If I go and pitch you again, I'm going to have a very different idea. You will know that I'm wearing I'm underwear. I'm going to start taking my clothes just off. In case, exactly, <laughs> just in case. When you were trying to reel before and it was pulling drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We set those just right, so that way when that thing hits, it's not too tight where it'll break our line. Right. But it's tight enough where it'll set that hook when he eats it. So when you do, when you feel fish, that thing will just start peeling and peeling. You own him. He's yours. Oh. He just ate the thing. I lost him. I popped him off. And now, even though you work out and you go to the gym, there's going to be muscles that hurt tomorrow oh, great. that you did not know you had. Fishing Tri muscles. Tricep, Fishing muscles. You know, forearm, tricep. Does that mean I can get a body like yours? Yeah, right. <laughs> Fishing jokes. Manscaping or natural? Natural, man. Natural. You think Wayne and Frank manscape? No, I'm with those guys. We're men, we're real men. Housewives, huge, huge uh, ratings. Yes. You don't feel, you have no, no remorse at all, sort of some of the things that happened. I mean, you had a suicide in, in LA. Well, and obviously family that, that don't talk to each right. other anymore. No, you know, I think that, well, first of all, I have to put the suicide bus separate because I really don't believe and no one at Bravo believes that that had anything to do I'm, with the I'm show. Not, I'm not saying exactly. that. Exactly. So in terms of the um, other things that's happened, we've had marriages fall apart. We've had people fall in love. Okay. People have babies. We had Jacqueline come out and say that she was dealing with this situation right. with her autistic kid. We have had situations where we have said to women, we don't want you back on the show. You have to figure your life out. Got it, it would not be healthy for you to okay. do this. So, and in terms of you know marriages falling apart, I believe that those marriages would have fallen Fall apart, apart anyway. Eventually. I think that the situation probably came to a head quicker because you have other people saying, this guy doesn't treat you right. I pretty much stand behind the women and their decision to go on the show. And I feel like when it gets to a point where it's too much, we have stepped forward and said, maybe Got we it. should talk about this or how can we make this okay for you? Do you think this is fair? Morton Downey Jr., Jerry Springer, Andy Cohen. No, I don't. <laughs> why, why not? 
Look, I think that with these reunion shows, I think it depends on the city. I think if you look at Jersey, there's an element of intense emotion and, you know, somehow in the VEM diagram of Jerry Springer, they might intersect for a second. But I think that's a show about family. Right now, it's a show about families that really don't like each other. Mm -hmm. I think that will change and evolve. The Housewives reunion shows are about frothy conflict and emotion. Jersey is always really top of mind. That's something that, you know, we think of. But I think if you look at New York reunions, they're arguing about the etiquette of borrowing a designer dress, you know? And so that's, you know, and that's more of a conversation. So I view it as the modern day soap opera. I always love soap opera. I was gonna ask you that question. So your your legacy as a TV producer is, and and you're, you're good with this. Are you not? No, I know. I'm not. I feel like the show is um, a guilty pleasure for a lot of people. I think it's anthropology of a certain um, a certain class of people in a certain city that has a really strong cultural identity. Oh, Andy, nice visuals. Now you're showing off. Wait, just when you think you're gonna have a sip of soda, you catch a fish. Okay, lift the rod. There you go. Oh, oh. oh. is a striper? Oh my no. god, this is big. Big blue fish. Monster. Oh my god. Andy, that's what we call a slob. Not unlike what you just called me earlier, but it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. A slob blue fish, a really big fat. You gotta lift up, lift up, lift up. Just like you're doing a curl, just lift it up. Just lift, 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 lift. Okay. Now drop down and reel. Monster fish. All right, now take the pressure off the rod, Andy. Drop down, drop down. There you go. Wow. Fish that board. Fish that board. Oh my God! Look at the size of that. That's a 15-pound bluefish. 15-pound bluefish. People will fish their whole life and not catch a bluefish that big. This is a good introduction to fishing because you know this will get, this gets people coming back. When they sit around all day and they don't catch fish, they're right. bored. They don't come back. Oh my Lord. That is a monster. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's a big fish. Fish or fowl? You know what? Maybe 12 hours ago, I would have said fowl, but I've had the best day fishing. I'm going to say fish. What about your future? Oh, man. I just, my mantra in TV and in life has always been, as long as I'm happy, everything else will kind of find its way to me. And so, I, I, as long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, every, good things will come, hopefully. And if the bottom falls out, I'll go freaking work on a fishing boat with Wayne <laughs> and live happily ever after. Wow, that was a long, incredibly successful day of fishing. But now it's time to head back. All right, get you back on dry land. Woohoo! Mating. He's never ending. He's, he's Wayne, never thanks ending. for teaching me how to mate. Was thanks, okay. man. You were great, Captain. Thanks. You never tell that you hadn't been fishing much. I tell you, thank you. you. Did wonderful. It's exciting. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Now I'm kind of sad to be leaving, frankly. Don't miss Hooked Up. I'll be trekking across the globe looking for some really big fish and talking to some really cool people like my friend here, Andy Cohen. Yeah. Click here to subscribe. It's only on the Reserve channel, only on YouTube.